Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and today I'm going to talk about owning a chainsaw from the backyard gardener, home gardener's point of view. There's a lot of content on YouTube about chainsaws. Most of it's from homesteaders, people with enormous properties and a, you know, a fairly substantial need and regular use for a chainsaw. Uh, but then there's the homeowners who have properties with trees, but you're not running a homestead. You don't need a chainsaw every day or every week, or maybe not even every month of the year. Maybe it's a, a handy thing to have around and you need it, you know, three, four, five, or maybe one time a year, a tree blows down, you gotta deal with the tree. You know, it may be the case that you really don't need a chainsaw. You need a chainsaw you can borrow from a neighbor once in a while, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, let's say you're a homeowner and you have bought a gas powered chainsaw and I mean, I could do a whole nother video on whether you should buy gas or electric. That's a whole nother topic. We'll get into that in another video if people ask for it. Because I got opinions on that. I think there's pros and cons either way, but that's a whole nother video. But just about keeping one of these and dealing with the fuel aspect of it. There's a few things I've learned over the years that I think, there's things I wish I'd known 10 years ago. Okay. So first time, this chainsaw is 10 years old. When I first got it. Uh, I bought, and this takes uh, a mixture of gasoline and two-stroke, two-cycle um, engine oil, right? Two-cycle oil, right? A mix of gas and oil goes into the gas here, uh, and that's what the engine needs because it's a two-stroke engine. So you don't want to have the same gas, and my lawnmower is four-stroke. It just takes pure gasoline. The oil goes in another way, just like your car. Uh, so I needed one can of gas. For the chainsaw and I had a weed whacker that used the same sort of fuel mixed fuel uh, and one can of gas for the chainsaw one can of gas for the lawnmower and of course the lawnmower fuel could also go in the car if the car was low I live a good distance from a gas station sometimes fuel is a bit low you don't know if you're gonna make it it's good to have some extra fuel kicking around so I got a, uh, maybe a I think this is a one gallon I got a two gallon can for the lawnmower and everything else okay when I first got the chainsaw I would fill this up with gas from the gas station and then I would put one of these. This is roughly 2.6 ounces. This is a gallon. Convert that to a metric. This is about 4 liters and this is about uh, 75 milliliters, right? It's roughly. If you do that and mix that together, you get a 50 to 1 ratio. So I'd have this here one. You can see it's marked on there. Two stroke, somewhere if you can see that. It says two stroke mixed. I got it, I got it written in magic marker in various places. Um, so, now you can use this in a lawnmower, but it's not necessarily good for it. But a little bit here and there is not a big deal, I suppose. Uh, but really, when you mix this much fuel, to and that system worked, but when you mix that much fuel to use in a chainsaw, which the chainsaw only holds about this much fuel, uh, it's unlikely you're going to use that fuel up in a year unless you're using your chainsaw a lot. But if you're just a backyard gardener, a homeowner, with the odd tree they got to take down once in a while or help a neighbor out, that sort of thing. You, you, you ain't going to be using a gallon of gas a year. Probably not, right? <laughs> Unless you're really into it sort of thing. Um, so there'd be whole years where I wouldn't need to use the gas. What am I going to do with this old gas? And by the way, gas doesn't keep forever, right? It starts to degrade after six months because you got fuel stabilizer in it. So I was at the store one day and I noticed this stuff. I'm not going to show the brand of it, but basically this is pre-mixed fuel you can buy at any hardware store. This costs like, what does it say, $12.99, 13 bucks for a liter of gas. It's not a good deal. Right? It doesn't cost that much at a pump. It's a very expensive gasoline. It's very good gasoline and it's got stabilizer and it's supposed to be really, really good stuff and high performance and so on and so forth. But it's $13 a liter, so it's kind of expensive, not a good way to go. But this is about the right size if you're going to mix up some fuel to have. So to me, the better solution is to have a container like this. Might as well just buy one because you know that's fuel grade safe, right? You can use that. Um, once it's emptied out, you buy your fuel like you normally would. And I would buy the highest octane fuel you can for your chainsaw or your lawnmower, that sort of thing. They just, the small engines do better when they've got good fuel. So you, you buy, fill, fill this up with regular fuel, then put some fuel stabilizer in this because you don't know how long it's going to take to use up. 
This is uh, called a Seafoam Marine Pro. It's it's, a, it's a, a fuel additive used for outboard motors, but you can use it for anything. And it cleans the engine and all that sort of stuff, but it also stabilizes the fuel, so it sort of does more than one thing at a time. There's many different types of fuel stabilizers. So anyway, you buy you know, a gallon of gas, you put some fuel stabilizer in it. Now you know this gallon's good for at least a year, and you can use it in your chainsaw, you can use it in your car, you can use it in anything. Then you pour some of it into one of these, right? And then you add your two-stroke oil to this. And that way you've got a liter of mixed fuel and you know it's going to be, you know, the stabilizer stabilizes it for up to two years. So you write the date on it near the top somewhere on a magic marker so you know when it was mixed. You know, this fuel is good for a couple of years and you can use it up in your chainsaw and your weed whacker or whatever two-stroke engine you've got. If you're not sure the ratio of fuel for this, you can do a whole bunch of math, right? So like this is roughly a quart, it's right, you know, or almost a liter. Right, so that's uh, about three quarters of an ounce of mixed fuel for a 50 to 1 ratio, or about 20 milliliters for a 50 to 1 ratio per quart or per liter, roughly a liter, 946 milliliters. Or at any, any automotive store, like here in Canada, we got Canadian Tire, you can get one of these things. It's called a Mix Master. And as you can see, it's got, depending on the total volume of gas, it's got a, a syringe, right, that you pull up and you suck up oil based on how much. Like this here, it says, based on the ratio you want. So it says 50 to 1 for one quart, right? So I don't even have to do the math, right? I just know how much, how big the container is. And this tells me how much oil I need, right? So if you're not really good with the cross multiplication and all that sort of stuff <laughs> and the algebra and such uh, just get one of these mix master or whatever you know there's different brands I don't know if that's a brand or what it's called but any one of these it's like a conversion slide so you don't need to understand the math you just need to do what it says to get the right ratio it's got options for 40 to 1 50 to 1 32 to 1 really depends if 25 to 1 16 to 1 it really depends on what your motor wants um, both my uh, weed whacker and my Chainsaw both take 50 to 1, so it works out perfectly. I just mix a 50 to 1 mix in this liter. I got the fuel stabilizer in it. So what I'm basically doing is mixing, I'm creating a product very similar to what comes in one of these, right? But instead of paying $13 a liter, right, I'm paying the ordinary price for gasoline, plus a little bit of this, right, and a little bit of this, right? So it's a lot uh, cheaper way to feed uh, your chainsaw and then you're not left with a whole bunch of mixed fuel that you can't use in your car you can't just use it up right by doing it this way where i got a bit of fuel stabilizer in here you know towards uh you know some point in winter when i'm not or you know some point in the year i want to change everything over i can just put this all in my car i can run this off in my lawnmower right? i can use this in other vehicles i got an off-road vehicle i can use it in that this is high octane fuel Right? And then next spring, when I'm getting new fuel for my lawnmower and everything else, I just get one container of fuel and I mix off a small container to use in the chainsaw and the weed whacker and all that sort of stuff of the mixed fuel. Anyway, that's uh, a lot of talking, but I, I think I'm hoping this will save some people a few bucks and make the process uh, more simple, right? Buy high octane fuel put fuel stabilizer in it at the right ratio then put it in one of these and add the uh, two cycle oil then you've got your mixed fuel for your chainsaw and your it's not costing you 13 bucks a liter but it's high octane stabilized fuel that will also if you if you got some of this stuff in it it sort of keeps things keeps things clean removes carbon deposits and that sort of thing so it should keep the your small engine uh, running in tip-top shape. Anyway, just a little video on chainsaw fuel. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.